which makes me a Christian voter. And absolutely no group of people over the last 10 years has been more disappointing than my fellow Christians. You continue to backflip over yourselves and twist and tie yourselves into knots to justify and rationalize your continued support of this absolutely immoral and depraved man as the leader of your supposedly moral movement. And then you have the audacity when we ask, well, how can you support him? You'll say, well, I'm not voting for a moral leader, but I'm voting for him because his policies align with my Christian values. Okay, so wait, you are voting for a moral Movement, just not one led by a moral leader. When you figure out how that actually makes any sense whatsoever, please let the rest of us know. And you seem shocked to learn that congregations across the country are dwindling in size. And you can't understand why people who aren't currently part of the Christian faith want absolutely nothing to do with what you say you have to offer. I'll tell you why. It's because your words, your actions, scripture, and the teachings of Jesus don't align. Not even a little. Donald Trump is very literally the anti-Beatitudes. He mocks the weak while he himself is weak. But you'll turn to the Bible and cherry pick stories like Saul's conversion to Paul and say, well, look, all things work together for good through Christ and God can take a bad man and do good things. You did not learn what you should have learned from the story of Paul. Because what you're doing is actually voting for Saul and hoping that somehow, somewhere along the way, he becomes Paul. Oh. Wow. So, okay, Boom. so... um it's been a long battle uh, in the church, <laughs> outside of the church, <laughs> over who was going to be the president. Uh, people spoke, and Trump is coming back. Um, I, we've been seeing a lot of different reactions. We've been seeing people celebrate. We've been see, seeing people crying. How did we get here? How did this happen, Jeremiah? I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the next clip, please. <laughs> how do we get there? Y'all know the role. Y'all know how this go. Ryan, go first. How did we get here? Yeah. I mean, we we got here because first, you know, I'll, I'll say this. Since we've been in Flavor Fest, I've been having some great conversation with people. Um, one person I had a conversation with, um, he basically said how disgusted he was that his family was so pro-Trump, right? He was like, well, I know we're Christians and everything. He was like, but you can vote the policy and and not be so excited for the man and i saw something on social media the other day where somebody was you know um was you know having a celebration and i was like it's really nothing to celebrate you know what i'm saying like it's really mm-hmm. nothing to just be like like why are you so into just this particular person like i get it if you know you are pro party or whatever but to be so into a person for some for you know for what we know the truth to be, that just doesn't sit well with me, and it's really disturbing. Mm. Yeah, man. I um, I, I've been saying this from the beginning. You can't sit on any kind of moral high horse of voting for either one of those candidates. Yeah, I think both of them show um, characteristics of somebody who is not a believer of Christ. Yep. Only yeah. God know the heart of man, so I can't call this salvation. But if I'm judging a tree by its fruit, I don't <laughs> see no fruit uh, from, from either one of them. Um, I think when it came down to at the end of the day, you got to look at those policies and see which ones align with your beliefs and where you stand. Um, obviously, as a Christian, I do not stand for abortion. Obviously, I'm against um, all this transgender and homosexuality. I believe we love the people, but we do not condone the lifestyle. Um, yeah. So I'm not with that either. With that being said, I can't sit here and look at Trump as well and just see him as just a advocate for just biblical living and in a and, and biblical stance yeah um and i also know he's a businessman and he's a hustler um and he's proven to be untrustworthy on several occasions he's proven to be misogynistic he's proven to have a disdain and a lack of respect for women um he's done a lot of things that i would say are not christ-like so like ryan was saying if you're going to stand for the policies if you're against abortion cool i am too if you're against our money going for transgender surgeries and things of that nature and young kids being able to have the option to do that, I'm against that as well. But you cannot sit there and honestly be on a moral high horse saying I voted for Trump because I'm standing for Christ and look at that man and actually see a picture a picture of somebody who follows Christ. Yeah. Mm. I'll say this. Um, I'll say that, to, to be honest, I agree with what you just said. Um, I'm not going to be like gung-ho that like, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. But then at the same time, it's one of those things where you, you see the effects of how you vote, honestly. So, but at the same time, like we have people in our comment section saying different things um, about the economy, saying different things about, you know, like you just said, the abortion, different of, of those nature. So I think to me is 
if you go and you vote and you and, you, and you're saying, hey. I think this guy is not of God. I don't think, you know what I mean? I, I'm praying for him. I pray that his heart get right. I pray all, all this other stuff. I don't, I don't excuse his behavior, but I just can't I just can't back certain things I see with the Democratic Party right now. I can't do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's not, not like, you know, are you happy that, you know what I'm saying? Because you, I think the thing is also, and I don't know if we're going to have that conversation about how, how did this, well, I mean, yeah, how, how it happened, but just looking at the culture of where we were in America, you know what I'm saying? Like, just feeling that people at any time could be like, you know, your freedom of choice, or not freedom of choice, your, your freedom of expression, your um, different things that you, different policies. And and to be honest with you, everybody's policy is different. Like, we talked to James early, and he said it was one policy, I had to vote this way because that policy affected me. Yeah. Somebody else could feel that exact same way, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I can't knock anybody that said, hey, I wanted this because that policy spoke to me. I can't be like, man, you wrong for that. I, I can't because of that policy. If you feel like that policy is a strong policy for you, you can't be mad at the person who could feel that way. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. I can't be mad at if you feel like Kamala's policies were way better than Trump's. If you right. feel like that as a as a faith, somebody in your faith, you'd be like, yo, man, you know, that situation would have hurt me as a school teacher or that situation would have hurt me as for my kids. Yeah, I can't yeah, be right. mad at you. Like, OK, then that's what you felt. Right. Yeah. So that's what that's how I see it. And to me, I'm seeing two flawed people being idolized by people that I'm like, I'm never going to idolize. No, man. Yeah, you know sure. what I mean? But at the same time, I'm looking at these people's policies and I'm like, I had to go with that policy better. You know what I'm saying? That's just just being honest. I think what he's bringing up is. Even if you think the policies are better, does it not matter that the person is not of good character? Well, I'll say this. I've seen Christians go on both sides. I've seen Christians say, well, I'm looking for somebody that's not my pastor. That's liberal. That's, they, that, they, they believe they, they were liberal. They, they were voting for Kamala and saying, hey, we ain't look, I ain't voting for my pastor. I'm voting for somebody who I think can get the job done. So I'm hearing a Christian that said that and I'm not knocking them for saying that but I'm like well if that's how you stand then how how are you judging people who felt that way about like I don't I'm I'm not saying Trump is a good quality man I'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I may agree more with his his not thoughts or, but like what he want to put in certain things he want to put in place then then that you know what I'm saying yeah he go Trump going to tell Trump gonna tell you what you want to hear. Trump is a businessman. Yeah, I tell people all the time, even with the "Make America Great Again," I don't necessarily mean think he came out with that being a racist term. I think what was going on, all of our jobs were going overseas um, to like China and India and other countries. And what he was saying in the beginning was, uh, "I want to bring American uh, businesses back to America. I want more American jobs." But we just followed up two terms with Obama, so. Racist people who saw that were saying, yeah. hey, make America great again. You're right, because we just had this black man in here for two terms. So him being a businessman, he said, hmm, these are the people who are going to put me in office, so let me cater to these people. Is he racist? Probably not. Does he lack integrity? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, does he lack moral character? Absolutely. He's always been the kind of person that whatever the people are saying, he's going to gravitate toward that to get where he wants to get. He don't really care about nobody but himself. So... If you voted for the policies that he supported, that's one thing. But you can, in good conscience, keep it real with yourself and say this man is of good moral character. But but I will also say this too, um, like when the election happened, my church had like a a, a worship <clears throat> night and a, a celebration night of just Christ is King. He's on the throne and and all that and and, and that great stuff. But I, I will say I feel like we idolize, like we idolize. The laws of this country like 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 I don't know if this double-minded what I'm saying but I feel like sometimes we like want to be like um, Christians based off the law you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like and like like I said policies I understand those but like I'm not putting my faith in the policies Absolutely. I'm not putting my faith in those things so I don't I don't like 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 some people with some Christians that's saying Yo, if we can get them transgenders up out of here, we good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus like, yo, how do we reach these people? How do we <laughs> minister to these people? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're you're wanting the laws to be what God is calling you to be. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all already know how I feel. I'm disappointed. Like, I would have been disappointed either way. But <laughs> I'm definitely disappointed this way. 
I've been hoping and praying that the Republican Party could get this dude out of here. This means that he will never be out of here. He is permanently a part of our lives for the rest of our lives because he got a mandate. Yeah. I mean, he 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 won in every single way possible. Yeah. So my hopes of the Republican Party getting back to good faith, morals, pushing godly character, that's done. This dude is now the Republican Party. Yeah. yeah. So what does it do for people like me who see the flaws in, in what's happening right now yeah. on this side? Who's never liked the Democrat side yeah. ever? Yeah. Never, uh, never supported, never been called a Democrat in my life. Yeah. But I've had to vote against this dude because I think he's evil. Yeah. Right? What, 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 what do we do? The people that are in the middle, because there's no party for us, right? There's yeah. no party that says what they're doing over there is wrong and what they're doing over there is wrong. Yeah. We're just going to live by common sense, biblical principles. Yeah. What do I, what do I, how do I deal with this? Well, I, I think, I think for one thing is, is like, how do we go forward? Because I, honestly, I'm an independent. I voted Democratic before, I voted Republican before. So I'm not like, I'm not swayed by a right. party, Same here. but I'm like just in between as well. Yeah. So I think for me, I look at it from a standpoint of the, the rise of a third party does need to happen. Mm-hmm. But then, to me, I think the most important thing that really affects us immediately is those midterm elections, right. those so- local elections. And the right. reason I said that is because if you, locally, if you vote for a sheriff, like, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that meets with the people, talks to the people, says, hey, what is the problem? Hey, man, when, you know, when y'all have events, it's not a lot of people, co- it's not a lot of police out here covering such and such stuff. Hey, man, this cop, was, you know what I'm saying? So I think... To me, local elections mm-hmm. impact us. Impact us. Uh, I mean, I know presidencies and different things impact us as well. But I feel like that real impact comes from local elections because you can get to put in council people, you get to put in mayors, you get to put in governors that affect you. And now, if let's say, prime example, unfortunately, Trump has a Republican Senate, a Republican House. He got. He has that. But let's say in the next two years, in midterms, those it, he gets the House turns. Mm-hmm. It turns democratic. That turns, you know what I'm saying? But so I'm gonna tell you, I don't care anymore. Dang. I, I'm glad this happened because I want everybody to see this is what it is. Yeah. I want you to see what you voted for. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm really disappointed in Christians in general, just in the church, how how everybody acted during mm-hmm. this whole process. Sure, absolutely. Like the church, I hate when because the 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 one thing that sticks in my mind is Jesus's prayer yeah. in the garden. Please let them be one. Please let them be yeah. one. And I've just seen such a division wow. happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we what we pride ourselves on on this show is that we can have disagreements and we yeah. still love each other as brothers. Mm-hmm. We've been doing it for almost 20 years, right? Yeah. But what I'm seeing happen in the church where people are celebrating division, yeah. making fun of the, the opposition. Yeah. These are your brothers and sisters, supposedly, yeah. right? Yeah. Making fun of them like they don't matter. Yeah. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I, I hate this. Do y'all man. think it's... I it's, really do. I feel like it's... It feels worse at times but when when the person that you don't want to win wins and then that person's group like is celebrating. You know what I mean? Because I'm sure like like somebody could be like, yo, what happens when y'all was... When Obama won, y'all was up in there like, yeah, the White House is all... And, all that. and I'm like, bro, y'all don't understand. Like for us, it wasn't like... Like Obama's the greatest thing since sliced bread. It was more like, yo, this is the first time we've seen something historic like that yeah. happen. Exactly you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we did have a little bit of idolization with yeah. Obama it to the point. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> my president is black, my Lambo yeah. brew. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, but that so, was a little different though. That was a little different. I think I think, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. When I say that, so I mean, when I no, when I say that, I mean like you know what I'm saying? Like how, how, uh, how I'll how say from my household, right? My mom bought the historic newspaper the day he got elected. There was, you know, yeah. a, a photo or something. But that's as far as it went. It didn't go public. It didn't go social media. We didn't talk about it outside the house. Like, the MAGA, the MAGA Trump Republicans, they are doing the most. And it's insane the way they have put him I, I, on I don't the think pedestal. Most, I don't think most people are. At, going about my day... Most of the people I pass aren't talking about this, aren't celebrating this, aren't saying nothing so, about it. No, 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 not, not anymore. I'm talking about when he was running. I mean, but you know time. It's, it's been though. too long for me now. I mean, when you look at the, the way the, um, everything, the campaigns were run, and when you talk about celebrating a person, everything was based against the person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Policies wasn't the thing that exactly. was on the table. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was like, look, and it, it's funny, like even the idea of us talking about morality. 
Facts. Right, like since when did America care about morality? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah. like and every president before him, it yeah. was an idea of how it was presented. But we knew in the background oh, what, yeah. what it was, right? And then even the idea, right? I was having this conversation the other day, and you talk about like rappers. Trump is a bad guy. I'm like, bro, he represent everything you talk yeah. about. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. He more like you yeah. than anybody else. Yeah. Like, yeah. like he a gangster. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's He's the fun, misogynist. That's like, the funny part about it. It be gangster yeah. rappers like, yo, we gotta get. Like, like gangster, we gotta get him out. I'm like, you, bro, Trump the same you are thing. Trump. He yeah, got the yeah, he yeah. got the rags. He yeah. got the misogyny. Yeah. He got the the, yeah. the felonies. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. He everything you want. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, I, it's I think weird. too, man. We gotta realize that just because people are Christians, don't mean they're mature believers as well. Mm. And I think social media, while it can be a great thing and a great platform to share a lot of great things, it's also a platform for people who don't really don't really understand the impact or have the maturity to have a platform of that size. So they get online, they say crazy stuff. People who I know have thousands of followers putting stuff online, making fun of people being devastated about the results and all this kind of yeah, stuff. They pick cool, and choose. Man. They pick and choose how they want to approach things from a Christian stance or whatever, Marcus Rogers. And then it's like <laughs> his name right out there. And um I wonder who you're talking about. And, yeah. And it's <laughs> like track to track and it's like and he so. comes out and people say, I'm standing for God, I'm standing for this, I'm standing for that. But at the same time, it's like, bro, would Christ act that way? Exactly. Would Christ make fun of people? Would he belittle people? If, even if you stand up for Christ, you do it with honor. You do it with integrity. You do it with character. Christ not out here cracking jokes on people and posting stuff of yeah. people looking bad, looking yeah. down, looking sad. God, the word says it's God desired that all would be saved. If you do feel like somebody as a believer is wayward, lacking understanding, don't see things that way. Talk to that person. Go to that person in the spirit of love and have conversation and see yeah. how we can reconcile our differences yeah. and come to an understanding and move forward together as believers first because you're a yeah. Christian first before you're a Republican, before you're a Democrat, before you're a Trump supporter. You're supposed to be a follower of Christ. That's the foundation and the basis for everything that you do. So look at your behavior. Is your behavior the characteristics of one that follow Christ or do you have a golden calf named Trump or Kamala? Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen anything divide Christians like politics. Yeah. This has been yeah. the nastiest, yeah. ugliest thing I've yeah. seen. And how many people are like, where is the trust in God? Whoever's in the White House, where is your trust in God? Right. Don't you still believe, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things to be added? Like, yeah. God is still yeah. sitting on the throne. Yeah. Like, let's stop yeah. giving yeah. these people so much authority. It impacts us, true enough, but it doesn't impact us more than yeah. our faith. Yeah. I, well, hear I, none, I, I don't want to hear none from Democrats either, though. Because yeah, this is this is this is your <laughs> fault. Crazy. Oh, it's definitely their I fault. I think there was an overestimation when Biden won that oh, we in here. So now we could push this and we could push that and we could make them yeah. believe this yeah, and we could yeah. and it's like people loudly just say, Hey yo, enough uh, is enough. I can't take all this. Y'all yeah. trying to change yeah. my mind about yeah. stuff, trying to change my kids' minds about stuff. Yeah. I'm sick of this. They 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 got that message hopefully loud, loud and clear. Some yeah. people ain't get it yet. <laughs> but they're getting the message loud and clear. Yeah. They thought that, oh, we we in here now. Yeah. We could push all these yeah. ideologies onto everybody because yeah. we won. Yeah. You did not win. The only reason you won was because there were enough people that felt like Joe Biden was at least close to yeah. the middle. Yeah. yeah. And you come celebrating things that they're like, I don't want nothing to do with that. Yeah. Mm. And you lost them. Yeah. You and lost like, all, and all the people on yeah. the edge. They yeah. were like, I can't vote for you. Yeah. You saying crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't and do I, it. And I, and I think also for Kamala's sake, I feel like she was trying to be in the middle, but she started feeling the pressure from her counterparts yeah. that was far yeah. left. So she was like, and the, and the difference is Trump is like, I'm going to just say what it is. I don't care. But, and, but he's not a politician. No. You That's know what I'm saying? I tell people all the yeah, time. Yeah, he's not a he's politician. Not a so it's like when you're a politician, you got to play both sides. So it's like, I'm saying, she come to a church and she's quoting scriptures, yeah. she's doing that. But then, but then yeah, you with somebody else, it's, it's like, I'm, yeah. Way. So it's like those yeah. dichotomies that she had, I think people was like, well, at least with Trump, I hate to say it, you got what, what you got. Yeah. yeah, sadly. But to me, this, this was the worst case scenario, right? Some some states, the same states that voted for Trump, also voted to lift the abortion, abortion ban. ban. Yeah. So then, what was all was this for? Awesome. Then? Yeah. Yeah. Let me do this then. Yeah. I'm in Florida, so. As you well, Mark guys Rubio know, ain't yeah. no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they ain't going. Mark Rubio ain't no joke. They they, yeah, they're not going for any of that, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm in Trump world. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And, um, Georgia's the same way, I yeah, think. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, Except no. The governor, Atlanta the governor and, is in like. He ain't all the way Trump. I mean, he's scared you know, of yeah. Trump, but he, yeah, he made fun of his wife. He, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you um, talking about a, our government? Kemp. Kemp, yeah. yeah. Oh, he used to be fun of his wife? 
Yeah, yeah he said yeah. something crazy, but he's like, I'm still supporting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, he's still supporting. They all say that. Right. Marco Rubio and <laughs> Ted Trump's Cruz. Wife. Everybody. No, Kim's wife. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Trump yeah. said something about Kim's wife. I was about to say, ain't nobody crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, ain't nobody crazy. Yeah, but I, I think also too, like, what would have happened if Kamala won? What we would have got mean? celebrations. The, People would have been the celebrating. Only thing it's both sides. It's yeah, both sides. It but would, the only it would thing be ridiculous. If Kamala had won, the only thing is that I wouldn't have felt fear. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the things that everybody was like, she's going to do this, she's going to do that, the transgender bathrooms, da 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 I wouldn't have feared that. But with this other side of stuff, I, I mean, because I just feel like God is on the throne. So, so a man like named Leroy, but, but the only thing is, he's, on the, he's on the throne. like a woman reading your son books in school. <laughs> yeah, but, but Ryan, I don't fear that. But Ryan, but Ryan, <laughs> I really don't. Why would I'm you, terrified. Why would you have fear in <laughs> this sense? If, you are, if you're saying you're not afraid of those things, yeah. God's on the throne, he's on the throne now. He's still there. Mm-hmm. He is on the throne, but I think when I remember things being bad yeah, when was, Donald it was Trump awful. It was, awful, was guys. in 2016, yeah. I remember yeah. being on the street and being run off the road by a truck that had Trump flags on it. Like I was scared for my children at that point. I was yeah. like, I'm seeing things happen, right? You're talking about policies that could happen or might affect. You know what I'm saying? Like it was different for me. I think it's subtle differences, though. I yeah. think I think that was a direct. I, I get that. But look at Kamala. Look who she's bringing yeah. on stage doing her addresses. Right. You got Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. Yeah. Is she somebody you want Cardi your young B, daughter right. to be like Cardi B? She got Beyonce coming down. People not playing just to the subliminal stuff. Yeah. Quavo on there wearing a see-through right. blouse. But I'm, then you got uh, it was a different time. Then, yeah. Then you got yeah. Kelly Rowland walking yeah. down with a big suit on, yeah. acting like she a husband they, for, they, for Beyonce. They, they, they point, overestimated right. their leeway with people. They did. Yeah, they, they overestimated. I would say the biggest the biggest thing I think might have messed them up was I, I say one of the biggest commercials was that Breakfast Club commercial. Yeah, that killed When me. they were like, I, ain't, I don't want my tax dollars going because to that. Everybody else was like, yeah, I don't I want wish, my I tax wish we dollars had that. I wish we had that to play because that was so damaging because what it revealed is that's what people really feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So now yeah. They, they were like, how do we get that taken down? How, yeah, but that was how you really mm-hmm. felt. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're trying to cover that up because yeah. you're trying to get her yeah. in office. Yeah. Trying to make sure but a lot decisions. of people <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. felt like that. Yeah. yeah. If they're being honest. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's two that's things, though, weird. to what you said, yeah. right? In the time we were in and we were coming after Obama. Mm. So the racist. Yeah. It was like, yeah, Got Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the Black Lives yeah, yeah, Matter yeah, yeah, movement, yeah. right? Yeah, it would have been worse if she'd have won. Think about how they would respond. Oh yeah, yeah no, if he that. lost, they chilling now because they won. You get what I'm saying? I believe Like that. you talking about running off the road, they've been running mm-hmm. through your house. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if yeah. we don't know what that was, that was that was the thing that I worried about. Truthfully, in the beginning, on both sides, I was like, yeah. if if they win, if this, how are people going to respond to this? Yeah. Now, what I feel like. There's not a big push of like violence, yeah. right? But I feel like the division, this country will never be the same. No, yeah, yeah, you got yeah, people yeah. who are saying, yeah. "The my life is over." You've had people commit suicide, bro. Mm, yeah, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the whole fabric of this country yeah, has been changed. It's, forever, it's changed forever. Well, I ain't gonna right? say change. It could have been trash for a while. But, it's been, yeah, but, yeah. but now, now it's really just like at one time divided, it was yeah. like. Bro, let's get some sports. We all gonna come together. Yeah. Yeah. Now that ain't even working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Except for the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. What, what Olympics is I, say, I wanna skate with you. I wanna talk <laughs> I with you. Talk, I, wanna I wanna play with you. I wanna do nothing. I don't wanna do nothing with your partner. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. It, it, it's crazy. But, but I, I, I do think that, you know, she, she would have, she would have tried her best to bring everybody together. But I think, I think it was just, it was too much. Like, it, inclus, inclusive doesn't work when it's a one way street. You know what I'm saying? Like acceptance doesn't work when there's a one way street. Yeah. If, I grew up in a time in America where if you didn't like what I liked or vice versa or I didn't agree with your theory mm-hmm. or whatever, we could have still had a yeah. conversation. Yeah, You'd be like, bro, it is what it is. We agree to disagree. Mm-hmm. You still my God. But basically what our show is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Now it's like if, if, if I don't agree with your life, you like, I'm cutting you off. And I it's like, you. bro, yeah. I, yeah. I, I literally mm-hmm. did life with you. Like for years of your life, yeah. so you get what yeah. I'm saying. Like you can hang with the racists. Yeah, yeah. they ain't like, bro. I don't like black people, but you cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I, I didn't experience I, 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 that I in the military. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, bro, I ain't you know, I don't really you know my family and this and that. But man, you, you're cool. I actually at my church, my church. I'm a I'm at a church that's predominantly white, right? Southern Baptist. Oh, I don't wow. even know how I got there. <laughs> wow. I'm dead serious. Like and, and to be ordained, it was like really God. 
me coming from a Pentecostal background. Wow. And God, and I, so I've experienced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not, yeah. not racism, but ignorance. Right, yeah. people just don't know what to say or how to say. But I literally had a cop there who told me, he said, "Man, Chris only <laughs> black people I have encountered were people I was locking up." Oh God! Mm. So now when I bring young black men in yeah. here, and he's like, "Man, he having these conversations," mm. he's like, "Bro, they cool." Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Not yeah. not even knowing and understanding his yeah. whole idea was shaped around how he encountered yeah. Yeah. and yeah. his interaction yeah. and the perceptions yeah. that he had. You yeah, know but I mean? the, so, the the sad part about it is that. For for black people with the white people, it's like we, you represent everybody. Everybody. With like that one white guy, mm -hmm. he doesn't represent everybody no. to us. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. if you meet one racist white guy, you could be like, yo, I know such and such. He ain't racist like that. So you're in your mindset, you don't think every white person yeah, is racist. Exactly. And I'm not saying this is for every white person that encounter black people, but sometimes we come across people like, that that comment, oh, you're different. You're not like them. That's racist. But you know, we yeah. present it that way a lot of times, yeah. too, especially musically. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. this is what we are. Yeah. This is the culture. Yeah, I'm like that's not my culture. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. So mm -hmm. a lot of times yeah. they present us that way. Sadly. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys checking out? Okay, yeah. <laughs> the comments was fun. Oh wow, um, crazy. Stuff. Uh, Is that somebody name? My gay jeans. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so um, so I, speaking of racist people because this is what oh, we suspected this is this is what we yeah. suspected was one of the motivations and first of all if this is your first time watching us we are on the road today we're in tampa at flavor fest um 2024 it's been great it's been great so far we actually taught a class yesterday on, yeah. on youtube success um so uh subscribe if this is your first time watching we'll be back in studio next week